So in today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, a project that is uh, located in Sofia, Bulgaria. This project is called uh, Bazluja Monument and it's uh, designed by Georgi Stoilov. And this project is actually uh, made a long time ago uh, in, Soviet, uh, in Soviet times in Bulgaria. And uh, I just want to read you a short uh, paragraph about this project. Uh, it says that the look of uh, Georgi Strelo's uh, monument was influenced by the br brutalist style uh, popular in Western Europe and in particular the architect notes personal influences including Mies van der Rohe, Gropius and Le Corbusier. Uh, Strelo's idea was to create a monument that could become timeless by incorporating both ancient and futuristic motives into his design. He lists both the Roman Pantheon and the sci-fi films of the 1950s amongst his inspiration for this monument. So as you can see, uh, it was inspired by some sci-fi movies and uh, Roman Pantheon, which I found quite interesting. So uh, I thought that we could uh, model this project and I'll show you how uh, the easiest way to create it. You can see it has quite a uh, good view. Uh, it's actually on the on the mountain, and um, it's not it's not very difficult to create. So the the most difficult part will be this area here, this circular area. So uh, so let's start. So I'm just going to import. Uh, I'm just going to import this image uh, to have it as a reference here, and. Uh, I'll use it to to quickly create uh, all the other elements that we need here. So let's start with uh, let's first lock it, uh, or actually uh, let's divide it first. So I'm going to divide this image. I'm gonna say split like so. So I'll have this one as a separate piece. And I want to have it in the same place as this one. So we have the same proportions, like so. Okay. Now we can cut this one out also. Let's trim it. Okay. So uh, we can move this in the middle. And let's bring this guy up. So we always want to move uh, move the image in the zero coordinate system so we have nice and smooth uh, view to work with. So uh, once we have this, this done, let's start drawing. First I'm gonna approximate the center here of the circle and let's say that this is all right let me just lock this quickly okay so this is way to to uh, copy this circle is to hold alt key and shift key together and then you can get it nice and smooth like this okay and then um, as you can see here I have one image here that shows the base plan so this is how the base looks so it's just three curves that are um, I assume that it's here so we're going to create lines for this now I'm gonna go with, with error polar center. I'll pick here. I'll say three. Enter, and there you go. So this will be the base, and this will be the outer edge. Let's go to the front, like this. So all right. So now once we have this, uh, let's draw one line here to be our section line. And this line will help us to have 
the desired shape that we want. Let's say something like this and let's modify it a little bit. Let's bring this up like so. Okay, so this will be our section. And as you can see here, it's uh, it's a little bit curved, so let's bring it back in the same uh, in the same plane like this, and let's do let's do revolve. Before that, let's create the center of this circle, so we know here it is, and let's do let's do revolve now. And there you go. So here we have our our top, and we can do the same thing for the for the top. So let's go like this, and basically let's draw another curve here. Okay, so once you have this, let's bring it again to Y axis and let's do revolve again. We got this one and this one and we have our product there. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just bring these guys up here and I'm gonna do offset surface and let's say 0 0.2 is all right. And I'm gonna do the same for these two. And uh, that would be basically uh, the geometry itself. And now we can also do the, the top view here. Let's see. I'm just using the polyline tool for this. And once we have this guy, we can simply move it here in the middle. So I'll create Okay, and we might need a little bit of out the ground here, like this, like so. Okay. So so I'm not going to do over, uh, a lot of details yet. I'll do this later. I'll just show you how to create uh, how to create these openings, these windows. It's actually quite easy. So all you need to do is let's first isolate this and let's uh, let's hide all the rest. So the best way to create these uh, these openings is by using polar array. So let's go to the front and let me just check. Okay, so the shape of the window is something like this with the fillets. Fillets will be, let's say, 0 0.2. Okay, and then we cut this in half, maybe even more. Something like this. Let's go curve boolean. Let's get this shape. Let's close this and now I'm going to bring this to the middle. I'm going to bring it down. So now what are we going to do is we're going to go extrude it here and we're going to say intersect two sets, this one and this one. We have our shape here. Uh, last thing let's uh, Let's get uh, the middle of this circle of this uh, geometry. Let's tape area centroid and we get this point here on the top. So we, we know where the center is. Let's go back to shaded and I'm gonna do polar, uh, array polar. I'm gonna say this is the center. 
the number of items I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say 9 no I'm gonna say 16 it's too much oh let's do it again let's say 15 and I think 15 is all right and this is our windows so so that's 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 how we actually create these windows and now I can just use split command and split them with these curves and now we can delete them and that's how you create the butcher monument so now I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail to the geometry and render it out and show you the final result. So this is the final rendering. Uh, this is the monument uh, in Bulgaria and Sofia, Bulja monument. And I uh, hope that you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments for me, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please feel free to share. And uh, uh, and if you know somebody who can benefit from these videos, please share share it with them so that uh, they can learn Rhino faster. So until the next time, see you and take care.